good morning students uh, this is a class which we are continuing uh, to the stability studies and uh, evaluation of uh, herbal formulations and herbal drugs uh, guidelines given by who and ICH International Council of Harmonized Pharmaceutical Product Production for Human Use. The Council also have established this evaluation for the safety of the use of herbal formulations and which we have discussed up to the chemical evaluation and this is the second class which we are just continuing the last class which we have discussed now we are coming to the biological evaluation it consists of the following evaluation methods which is displayed here that is better value hemolytic activity swelling index form index you might have thought already we are told this can be even come to the chemical or a physical evaluation but the swelling index and form index they have some impact with uh, various therapeutic activity uh, like when you have swelling index it has effect on GIT to evacuate the bowel and various treatment for constipations and the foaming index also it has various parameters with the saponification or saponi, saponi, sap, saponin glycosides which has foaming index which has various parameters apart from the uh, dirt removal of soap formation it has many other impact that is why it is also included here and pesticide residue and heavy metals microorganisms aflatoxin identification and radioactive substances which may be present if it is when you are formulating a herbal formulation or herbal drugs which are collected from various places so this is all the sum of the category which we have made for biological evaluation apart from that there are many evaluations pharmacological evaluations and pharmacological studies separately for individual drugs can be performed and it has to be followed the monograph which is given by the pharmacopias and our standard works which is given approved by the W H O and now this is one chart which can give you some idea about quantitative and semi quantitative analysis of herbal drugs so here we have come across many tests in this which I have made here see like extractive matters extractable matters from the herbal formulation or herbal drugs insoluble matters determination of ash value ash can give various qualitative estimations and parameters can be determined foreign matters presence of foreign matters moisture content volatile oil physical test chemical test for individual herbal formulations and herbal drugs better value tannins presence of tannins puckerness then many things can be identified swelling index firm value hemolytic activity crude fiber length and quantitative estimation qualitative estimations can be done so these all are some of the quantitative and semi quantitative analysis of herbal drugs when if you remember some of the points you can explain by means of your practical knowledge what you have done in your, in your lab that is why we made one chart also here to just to remind you 
what we are discussing whenever we are listening to some lecture we should concentrate or we should know that what is going on there otherwise our mind will not mind will get distracted so please try to concentrate listen some words and listen what is the back of this WHO's evaluation procedures in biological, especially biologically, the we have continuation of the last class. And first one is bitter value, bitter value, bitter. We have studied many times bitter tonic, it is used as a better tonic. So what is the bitter value? Medicinal plant materials that have a strong bitter taste, bitters are employed therapeutically mostly as appetizing agent their bitterness stimulates secretions in gastrointestinal tract especially of gastric juice the bitter for properties of plant materials are determined by comparing the threshold bitter concentration of an extract of the material with that of a dilute solution of quinine hydrochloride so we are comparing with the reference standard like quinine hydrochloride the bitterness value is expressed in units equivalent to bitterness of a solution containing 1 gram of quinine hydrochloride in 2000 ml water so bitterness value calculated in units per gram using the formula 2000 into C divided by A into B. So what's A? A is the concentration of the stock solution milligram per ml which is the stock solution which you have prepared b the volume of the test solution in ml in the test tube or in the tube with a threshold bitter concentration bitter concentration or a threshold bitter concent sorry and the tube comma with a threshold bitter concentration is equal to the volume of the quinine hydrochloride which you have used as a reference standard reference in milligram in the tube with the threshold bitter concentration so a and b you have to know that they are similar for example when you are taking according to the monograph which is given when you are preparing the standard quinine a sulcurine hydrochloride solution what is the concentration which is specified by the monograph or the standard book or the WHO or a standard organization which is given according to that when you are preparing even the sample also you have to go to the same concentration then only you can go for the comparative study so the bitter value can be calculated by the value 2000 into C C and you can go for the concentration that means for example uh, what is the value of A and what is the value of B we have to calculate and it can be easily uh, uh, um, identified so by means of uh, the the bitter value we can have a standard parameters for our calculation So the bitter value is expressed in the unit equivalent to the bitterness of the solution containing 1 gram of the quinine hydrochloride in 2000 ml. Safe drink water should be used as a vehicle, safe drinking water actually. For extraction of plant material and for the mouthwash after each tasting. The taste but dull quickly if diluted water is used. The hardness of taste water rarely 
has any significant influence in bitterness so taste buds dull quickly so if you are if distilled water is used so the hardness of the water rarely has any significant influence on bitterness so you should know that even just an example we have shown that the bitter god which is one example of uh, bitterness herb, herb but others also we have many and we can use quinine hydrochloride as an example or a standard for bitter value testing hemolytic activity many medicinal plant materials of the families caryophyllaceae araliaceae sapendaceae primulaceae and dioscoraceae contains saponins so the most characteristic property of saponin is their ability to cause hemolysis so when added to a suspension of blood saponins produce changes in erythrocytes membranes causing hemoglobin to diffuse into the surrounding medium the hemolytic activity of plant materials or a preparation containing saponins is determined by comparison with that of a reference material saponin r which has an hemolytic activity of 1000 units per gram the hemolytic activity of medicinal plant is calculated using the following formula so same like you have to take a reference standard usually we can take the diosgenin or it is a standard uh, saponin glycoside which we can take as a material according to the monograph or a standard book which is given even though last uh, Uh, experiment in uh, in your bitter principle also how you have compared with the quinine sulfate is not constant even sometimes they may give another uh, preference standard according to the monograph monograph which is given by the pharmacopias so hemolytic activity of medicinal plant is calculated by following formula 1000 into a by b where 1000 is defined as the hemolytic activity of the reference sample or reference saponin in in in, uh, in relation to the ox blood and a is the quantity of saponin r that means reference that produce total hemolysis in grams and b is quantity of plant material that produces the total hemolysis in grams so you can see a picture which i have given some idea or this hemolysis how they are observing in the you can see that these test tubes are centrifugal machine they may be using this type of test tubes which you might have seen while doing a ph or while doing some experiment for deposition in the urine deposition test or even some test even in the pharmaceutics or even in some test in H human physiology lab you might have come across so you can see that complete hemolysis thick and partial hemolysis is light blood you can see and no hemolysis the blood is completely it is in the form in the test tube so this is a graph which we can see by means of uv spectroscopy it can be analyzed or by means of absorption at 540 nanometer means visible spectrum can be analyzed and without we can find out what is the hemolytic activity of a saponin graphical method concentration with versus the absorption by means of uv spectroscopy method have been denoted in the graph 
so don't think it is simply taken a picture it is just a picture is having lot of uh, your basic knowledge what you have studied in your various subjects like instrumental analysis you might have studied according to the uv and uh, visible spectrophotometer in which by means of the bayer lambert's law or the absorption spectroscopy the absorption of the light by a colored solution or an uv absorption can be by means of uv absorbing materials which have I been mean conjugate double bond systems can also be identified by the instrumental method that is what the graphical method is mentioning we are not going for the detailed knowledge about the base in the detail now the theoretical knowledge because you have studied in your analytical that means instrumental analysis chapter and swelling index we are coming to the swelling index the swelling index is the volume in ml taken up by the swelling of 1 gram of plant material under specified conditions its determination is based on the addition of plant or sorry addition of water or a swelling agent as specified in the test procedure as specified in the test procedure of monograph which is given in a standard book that is what we are meaning procedure for each individual plant material either o whole or cut or pulverized how to use everything will be given in the uh, in our standard book or in our standard pharmacopias of each and every country you see the test tubes which i have shown weak dart test tubes it is measuring cylinders where you can see that which we have, we might have done with ispagul starch there are many ways, uh, experiments you be might have done for the finding the swelling index of the compound so it can be used as a 100 ml cylinder a standard standard measuring cylinder for identifying the swelling index how it is denoted you can see there is an 26 ml in 2 grams they have observed and after certain period at 15 to 20 minutes when they kept you can see that how the increasing the volume is increasing and here there it is 33 ml even 10 ml have been increased from the normal zero level to increased by means of the swelling capacity of the material which is kept in the test in the measuring cylinder which is shown in the picture below my video screen and you can see now we are coming to the foam index foam index many medicinal plant materials containing saponin that can cause a persistent foam when an aqueous decoction is shaken the foam ability of an aqueous decoction of plant material and their extract is measured in terms of foam index foam index is calculated using the following formula foam index is equal to 1000 by a where a the volume in ml of decoction used for the preparation and dilution in the test tube where foam a uh, to the height of 1 cm is absorbed but i have told in the laboratory when we were doing we measured the foam by in the 100 ml cylinder 100 ml measuring cylinder 
for shaking by means of using the 6 ml of the diluted solution and we have done for our shampoo preparation you just remember how we did but the calculation how to be measured by means of centimeter the form and so that you will get the form index and even i told with the hindu students to refer what should be the form index of a powdered shampoo and what should be the uh, what should be the form index for a liquid shampoo or a semi-solid shampoo like that there will be various parameters will be there if you go for reference then you will get an idea whether we have done the formula uh, properly or when we have done the experiment or an analysis have done properly can be easily identified see the picture various i have shown that is various uh, setup of uh, shaking and keeping for 15 minutes and 30 minutes and 60 minutes it was coming down little because some of the form can be broken down and may, may not be strong enough so we want to see the form index how extend our herbal formulation or herbal herbal is having the capacity to withstand the form which is formed by means of shaking that's what this experiment is giving the reply and determination of pesticide residue WHO and the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO sets limit of pesticides which are usually present in the herbs the pesticides are mixed with the herbs during the time of cultivation pesticides like DDT BHC DDT you know that it is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane and BHC is benzene hexachloride. These all are commonly used pesticides and herbs and vegetable manufacturing. So it has to be have some limits by means of given by WHO and FAO. The taxafen aldrin causes serious side effect in human being if the crude drugs are mixed with these agents so that's why they are giving some limits it should not exceed the presence of these chemicals or these pesticides which may be used while cultivation or in the production the average pesticidal residue should not exceed more than one percentage. The average pesticidal residue limit ARL in milligram of pesticide per kilogram of plant material can be calculated on the basis of maximum acceptable daily intake of the pesticide for humans ADI as recommended by WHO maximum acceptable daily intake maximum acceptable daily intake acceptable daily intake, intake ADI is very very important and it is recommended by WHO and the mean daily intake mean MDI of the medicinal plant material so ARL that means average pesticidal residue limit is equal to ADI into EX 60 MDI into 100 divided by so where ADI we know that maximum acceptable daily intake of pesticide milligram per kg of body weight and is extraction factor which determines the transition rate of the pesticide from the plant material into the dosage form and MDI mean daily intake of medicinal plant product so we should know that and before going to the next uh, step we should know what is hts high 
that is throughout put or thorough put throw put throughout you can say throw put throw put screening what do you mean by high throughput spinning? High throughput importance repeatedly the use of automated instrument to rapidity test thousands to millions of samples for biological activity at the model organized organism cellular pathways or molecular level. Maybe organism cellular level pathway different biosynthetic pathway level or molecular level or activity level can also be done that is why how you are doing very sensitivity that means throughput or throughput screening high throughput screening so you can see the determination of pesticidal residue residue high throughput analysis is required in the field of chromatography research ongoing efforts and being applied to target high throughput analysis of popular pesticides by a single multi residue method. This technique provides a high degree of sensitivity and facilitates targeted identification of each compound in a mixture with sufficient conf confirmation. Therefore, if a comprehensive list of pesticides is included for monitoring purposes, a triple quadruple quadrup mass spectroscopy or mass spectrometer attached to gas chromatography that means GCMS or bar MS that means gas chromatography attached with mass from mass spectroscopy or spectrophoto spectrometer and liquid chromatography attached with mass spectrometer liquid chromatography means HPLC like HPLC high performance liquid chromatography attached with the mass spectroscopy what is its application you have you have studied you should use your knowledge what you studied in your analytical instrumental analysis the platform can identify the quantify their residue they can find out what is the amount of residue amount of pesticidal chemical is present in the compound which is sample which you have taken easily can be identified by these two instrument linked together sensitive high sensitive and they are high selective and sensitive apparatus in both cases the current market instrument can easily achieve they can easily achieve a limit of quantification at ab or about 0 0.01 milligram per kg of all pesticides in most common matrix you can see the instrument which i have shown that is gcms gc means gas chromatography you can see the picture there is a gas which will be the continuous phase passing through the column there is a wound out that is the column a long column where the mobile phase of the gas will pass through and you can see there is a small injecting area where the sample will be injected it enters into the column along with the mobile phase and gets separated and it will come out and it will be detected by means of various detectors or we are using like uv spectroscopy uv detectors and uh, photo multiply detectors there are many detectors which we are using to identify what compound is completely eluted initially and it can be identified by means of digital method and a graphical method it can be easily identified by the uh, computer setup which is attached to them at the same time when you attach this mass chromatography along with this gas chromatography you have more advantage because when the compound comes out it gets ionized due to the 
mass spectro photometer mass spectrometer which will ionize the compound and that ionized compound can be identified for this mass number so easily identified what is the compound have been eluted and what is its mass number and what is the amount of the substance can also even identified by these instruments when they are combined together so this is also a picture to show you about the lcms that means uh, 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 hplc is connected with a mass spectrometer you just watch the picture you can see that this is a this is the original instrument and that is a schematic diagram in the diagram itself i shown that solvent system phase there in the gas chromatography you are passing a gas cylinder with a gas which is passing through the column here there is mix a and b is mixture of that is a, a biphasic solvents can be mixed together which can be used as a mobile phase and a column you can see there is a column it's a small column very sensitive column different compounds have different columns are available you should study about the hplc you should study about the liquid chromatography then you will understand what is the meaning of column and what is the length of the column why it is so sensitive column different columns are used for different instruments and different different not instrument different materials according to their chemical nature we are selecting the column system also and solvent system also mobile phases and the stationary phases are selected according to the mixture which you are interested to go separate what type of compounds you are going to separate that will give you a very good result and you see here the picture shows that this solvent system enters into the column and when it is eluted it is connected with the mass spectrometer this mass spectrometer will ionize the compound and by means of the ionization molecules can be detected by the detector which is attached with the mass spectrometer and that will give you a peak values which can be easily identified what is the mass number of the compound and even the amount of the substance can be detected by means of connecting with the specific it that means specific computer system can be in in incorporated and which can be easily identified and even you can have a hard copy for your reference in the future experiments so now we are coming to the same next one determination of arsenic and heavy metals and combination of medicinal plant materials with arsenic and heavy metals can be attributed to many causes including environmental pollution and traces of pesticides the constituents of are uh, not constituent the con content or the contaminant content of the lead and cadmium may be determined by immerse volumetric or by atomic emission spectroscopy what do you mean by this atomic emission spectroscopy this is also a very very important instrument which gives you very good result by means of finding out certain heavy metals heavy metals can be easily identified how you have seen in the flame photometry flame photometry we can identify sodium potassium these all uh, type of cations by means of its flame which is the intensity can be easily identified if you go for flame photometry which is also an instrument for content of potassium sodium calcium in in, in your urine can be analyzed in various process even in, in our in our lab and in our institution we have this instrument instrument so it's if possible any time it is necessary for you to go and operate and you can go and know about the things by means of asking your teacher it's very important so simply items which are present we have we have instead of telling what is there how to how it will operate what is its application if the student know about that it will be interesting for you if you ask with the teacher they will be really they will be interested to explain you but if you never ask if you are not interested then how, how come they voluntarily come and tell with you 
so it is necessary for you to ask the teacher to i am interested when a teacher have time when he is free understand that is also you should know and you should see and you should see that opportunity to utilize it is not necessary when i say that is immediately he is maybe busy in some work and immediately sir please show me and if he doesn't show if he say i am busy then he will tell oh he is not showing sir he is not interested when you are interested you have to wait and find a find you should have a patience and you should not blame them and you should go and study the things i hope it is uh, i even i have seen that instrument very interesting fluorimetry is there uv spectroscopy is there calorimetry is there and they even it is the flame photometry is there turbidimetry is there and ir moisture content identification ir use using by moisture content method very sensitive instruments are available very costly instruments are available in our institution but how far the students have gone and they have seen and identified and they know about the things i don't know in when while studying theory it is necessary for you to go and see in your laboratory when you are going into a laboratory you can see what all the instruments which is present there and you can ask with the teacher what is this what is what far this is the question you have to ask and you can improve your knowledge and now we are coming to this place where cadmium can be determined by immersing in volumetric and also atomic emission spectro photometer spectro photometer emission spectro photometer emission so it's emitting something which can be identified by spectro photometry so the following maximum amount is dried plant material which are based on the adi maximum acceptable daily intake of pesticide and lead you can see there is 10 mg per kg cadmium 0.3 mg per kg all metals there are many i have not listed out it is necessary for the students should know the basic need for the body you might have studied in your human physiology if not it is necessary for you to remember these all heavy metal need and what is macro uh, vitamins and micro vitamins what is macro elements and micro elements which are needed for our human body and what is its unit necessary for per day is also necessary for to study for all the pharmacy students and you see this is a picture for atomic emission spectroscopy it's a big instrument and a very sophisticated instrument very useful instrument see the picture you can see there is an hollow cathode lamp which is produced in the first initial stage and a sampling area from a sample it is sucked into the into that particular probe or a mixing chamber and which is connected with an ether that is acetylene gas a fuel gas which can burn and which will be entered into that sit burn and where it is at emission of the atomic emission atomic emission of the molecule will takes place and how it can be detected by using a slit which will just give the only a small way to fall on the monochromator and the monochromator means it can be a prism or it can be a grating it can monochromat the polychromatic light can be monochromat so a monochromat is needed there in an instrument of any photo 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 meter or a spectrophotometer or a uv spectrophotometer or a calorimeter there is a spectrum means you need a monochromator what do you mean me monochromator a polychromatic light can be converted into a monochromatic light and it can be detected by a detector by a photo detector that means photo multiplier tube which can easily take the photons and to make into electric current and it can be detected by means of connecting with an connecting with an uh, in an in a computer system so that you will get a graphical expression to identify what is its atomic molecule what is the molecule what is its concentration what is its quantity and quality can be easily identified by means of this atomic emission spectrophotometer which can be used for identifying various heavy metals which may be due to incorporated in the herbal formulation or the herbal drugs or by means of usage of the pesticides so this is what very important instruments but this instrument is 
not available in our institution but still there are other instruments are there you can go and absorb them even i recently they have been installed hp hplc so hplc also in chemistry lab they might have installed and please ask with your chemistry teacher show me the HPLC, how it will work, where is the column, where is, what do you mean by sampling, what do you mean by mobile phase, what do you mean by isocratic, what do you mean by biphasic solvent system, these all questions when you ask with your teacher and when you observe and go and see in the laboratory, I hope you will be very much interesting students, outgoing students and you will have a good knowledge and when you study theory it will be stable in your mind, so please you go and inquire, you go and ask with your teacher, you go and I am just giving your interest, it is it's your own interest. When I say immediately don't collect people, you go means individually you go. Why you are asking, come, come, you come, you come, you come. If you are interested, you go. If you go collectively and there will be a complex and if he interest, he will go. If she is interested, he will go. Understand like that, make your interest according to your knowledge can be shared but knowledge cannot be acquired by joining together I will collect knowledge my according to my interest and my capacity and another person beside me he will collect or he will listen according to his capacity you cannot make together collect no sharing but i can share my knowledge with a subordinate i can share my knowledge with another person it is possible try to understand the logic behind and the determination of microorganism we have discussed already many times how to use this my even in the laboratory also i told if the time permits we have to go for any one method strict plate method or poor plate method how to identify our formulation what is the microbial growth whether it is having any microbial contamination or not that is the, any colonies have been developed by means of keeping in the 24 hours in an incubator by 20 by means of incubating uh, inoculating the uh, the product which we have prepared these all things we have discussed in the lab but this is just generally this is also generally i have given but each and every individual product there will be individual monograph which is given by the pharmacopoeia or given by the standard book or by the government or authority it might have given by that you have to follow so usually medicinal plants containing bacteria and molds are coming from the soil and atmosphere analysis of the limit of E. coli and molds clearly throw lights towards the harvesting and the protection production practice. The substance known as aflatoxin will produce serious side effect if consumed along with the crude drug. The following table shows the maximum limit of microorganism allowed in raw materials and finished products. I have given the tabler called tabler below that means microorganism like E. coli raw materials 10 to the power of 4 finished product is 10 to the power of 1 and salmonella it is nil for raw material it should be and finished product should be nil total aerobic bacteria it can be about 10 to the power of 5 in the area when you are calculating and it should be nil in finished product intro bacteria can be 10 to the power of 3 and it should be nil in finished product so this is a picture to show you how the colonies can be developed in the media which is kept in the petri dish you can find out if there is a microorganism you can see that what is the colony different types of colonies you can see there is shades of yellow shades of white shades of black these all these signs can be obtained by the reference samples and various parameters can be given by the standard books how the formulas are present can be easily identified and can be compared and you see now we are coming to the aflatoxin content aflatoxin are naturally occurring mycotoxins produced mainly by aspergillus or aspergillus flavus and aspergillus 
parasiticus. The presence of aflatoxin can be determined by chromatographic methods using standard aflatoxin B1, B2, G2 and sorry it should be G1, G2. There is, there is any G2, G2 it is G1, G2 mixtures. Mono non sorry non invasive microtest technology non invasive microtest technology NMT in method NMT non invasive microtest technology 2 microgram kg of aflatoxin B1 and total aflatoxin 4 microgram per kg US method a non-invasive microtest technology that means 5 ppb what is that parts per billion very minute parts per billion of aflatoxin b1 and total aflatoxin of 20 parts per billion you see the structure which i have given here aflatoxin b1 aflatoxin b2 what is the difference what is the difference it is just an that means it is just an dehydrated b2 b1 and b2 m1 and m2 you see m1 and m2 that is also same thing the structure is same only a dehydro molecule two hydrogen molecules when you are I mean, a double bond formation in the lactone ring you will get a in m2 g1 and g2 G1 and G2 also same thing in a lactone ring a double bond when it is removed then it is called G2 otherwise it is G1. So these aflatoxins are the poisonous substance which are the toxic substances which may be cause you can see that aflatoxin grim problems in the maize a blackish skin which we are coming around it is toxic actually someone who have taken this they may be having severe diarrhea and it may cause even to death also so it's very dangerous component which may be present in sometimes due to the parasites and which can be caused by the by means of various pesticide pesties pests so it has to be seen what is the content of aflatoxins present in various herbal formulation and herbal drugs non in with us i have given that what is non invasive microtest technology is a scientific research technology used for measuring physiological events of intact biological samples nmt that means non invasive microtest technology is used for research many biological such as gene function plant physiology biomedical research and Environmental science, most living things experience in const constant exchange of ions and molecules with their surroundings as a result of biological processes and non-invasive micro test technology uses specialized flux sensors derived from micro electrodes to measure their dynamic ionic molecule activity called flux around an intact sample these fluxes reveal information about physiological phenomena so now we are coming to the radioactive contaminations Microbio microbial growth in herbal is usually avoided by irradiation this process may sterilize the plant material but the radioactive hazards should be taken into an account. So you are using this for removing some substance but at the same time it may become a unwanted substance or it may cause sometimes adverse effect, serious adverse effect of due to the radioisotopes. The range of radionucleotide that may released into environment as a result of nuclear accident might include long lived and short lived fission product, actinides and activation product. What is this actinides? Actinides and actinides are 
elements that atomic number from 90 to 103 following elements actinium they include natural occurring element thorium protactinium and uranium and 11 transgenic etc artificially produced by nuclear reaction never never that is nevertheless all actinides are radioactive substances so elements like thorium uranium plutonium actinium the nature and the intensity of radionucleotides release with different marketedly markedly not marketly markedly and depend on the source reactor and rep reproducing plant fuel um, uh, even f uh, fuel fabrication plant isotope production unit various places it can become as an uh, impurity for the plant which we are growing near the radioactivity of the plant samples should be checked according to the guidelines of international atomic energy in Vina and that of WHO. Vina is the headquarters which is the, it is actually the city of the main city of Austria where we can see UNICEF, WHO and all these uh, uh, international communities are there for governing all this type of um, standard information giving centers. So international atomic energy in Vena that is IAEA that means International Atomic Energy Agency was established as an autonomous organization on 29 July 1957. Though established independently of the United Nations through its own international treaty the IAE statute the IAEA reports to the both of the United Nations General Assembly and Security Council the IAEA has its headquarters in Vienna Austria you can see that symbol and all these things anyhow uh, thank you for being with me I have taken two classes for this chapter and so we will make this is the second class and the previous one is, is uh, we have made into two of different evaluation uh, procedures but I have given very 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 precise very very small uh, reference and with very small information you have to go for more information more detail with various reference and you have to go with uh, book references and also internet sources you can find a lot of lot of information regarding this what the new date updates which is given by WHO and ICH please refer and do it all the best thank you for today's class